Ready to make the most of your visit to Disney's Magic Kingdom? I've got you covered with three must-know strategies to ensure your day is nothing short of magical. From tips on beating the lines to meeting your favorite Disney character, this video is about to transform your Disney experience into the best day ever. So grab your Mickey ears and let's dive into the magic together. Hey everyone, I'm Michael. I just got back from an incredible vacation at Disney World, and in this video, I'm going to share with you my top three strategies for having the best day ever at Disney's Magic Kingdom. Let's dive in and have a magical day. Strategy one is all about having a plan. And trust me, you need a plan to maximize your day at Magic Kingdom. As Taylor Swift once said, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And she was definitely talking about planning your day at Disney. Your plan should include which rides you want to prioritize, the must-see attractions, entertainment schedules, character meet and greets, and the must-try foods on your list. Many people visit Magic Kingdom for the popular rides like Haunted Mansion, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, well, all the mountains. But keep in mind that some rides might be closed for refurbishment, like Splash Mountain, which is being transformed into Tiana's Bayou Adventure right now. Take a few minutes to identify which rides require individual lightning lanes, are part of the Genie Plus lightning lane package, or need a virtual queue. For example, the new Tron Light Cycle Run requires a virtual queue or an individual lightning lane. And there's speculation that Tiana's Bayou Adventure will have the same system when that ride opens later this summer. Knowledge is power. Use the Disney World website and the tip board on the My Disney Experience app to stay updated to keep your plan on track. This will save you time and frustration, trust me. Seeing your favorite Disney characters is possible with some planning. Some characters have specific meet and greet locations, while others can be seen during parades and stage shows. For a guaranteed princess experience, book Cinderella's Royal Table Brunch but be prepared, it is pricey. Alternatively, you can see the princesses and other favorite characters during the Festival of Fantasy Parade, which runs twice daily. I recommend watching the second parade and riding attractions during the first parade to have shorter lines. The nighttime fireworks spectacular Happily Ever After is a must see. People secure viewing spots on the hub in front of the castle hours in advance, which can waste valuable park time. Did you know that there's projections along Main Street USA during the fireworks? Plan your viewing spot to avoid last minute frustrations. Food is a huge part of the Magic Kingdom experience. Popular items can sell out quickly, so plan your meals. For example, the spring roll cart outside Adventureland offers delicious, albeit pricey, spring rolls. If you know, you know. Mobile ordering via the My Disney Experience app can save you time. I tried it for these chicken tenders and it was super convenient. My second strategy is to include breaks in your plan to recharge. Staying in the park from rope drop to fireworks is exhausting. Take a midday break to rest and rejuvenate. Consider going back to your hotel for a nap or a change of clothes. Disney Transit makes it easy to return to the park refreshed. A quick break can give you the energy to enjoy the late afternoon and evening. Or visit one of the monorail resorts like the Contemporary, Polynesian, or Grand Floridian for a quick air conditioning break. These resorts have great lobbies and restaurants, perfect for recharging without leaving the Disney magic behind. I went over to the Polynesian Resort and grabbed some snacks at the Kona Island Cafe. Chocolate covered bacon with sushi. This is the midday snack of champions. And then I made it back to the park fast enough to see one of the cavalcades come down Main Street, USA. If you prefer to stay in the park, 
opt for slower paced attractions like the Disney World Railroad, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover, or the Carousel of Progress. The Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover might be my new favorite ride in the park. This is another ride that has a typically short wait queue and allows a long time to sit and rest your feet. The train goes outside a few buildings, giving a break from the sun and the heat. Nearby is the underrated entertainment attraction, the Carousel of Progress. This ride dates back to the 1964 World's Fair in New York, when Walt's vision for progress was shaped in a stage show demonstrating the evolution of the American family from the turn of the last century to the present. The ride has some updated scenes since the original 1964 attraction debuted, ending with the modern American family experimenting with virtual reality goggles. The seats move around the stage scenes, offering a dark, quiet, and air-conditioned break from the Florida heat. There's a great big, beautiful tomorrow. These rides offer a relaxing break from the hustle and bustle of the park while keeping you entertained. My third strategy is to take advantage of early entry, extended evening hours, or purchasing tickets to special events. These opportunities give you extra time in the park with fewer crowds. Guests at deluxe resorts can enjoy early entry and extended evening hours on select days. This perk is often overlooked, but can significantly enhance your experience. This perk also applies to certain good neighbor hotels like the Swan and Dolphin. During the fall and holiday seasons, Magic Kingdom hosts special events like Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party and Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. These events require a separate ticket, but offer unique experiences, fewer crowds, and special entertainment. You can enter the park as early as 4 p.m. on party nights, and guests that don't have the separate special party ticket must leave the park by 7 p.m. Parties have special fireworks and parades and run from 7 p.m. till midnight or later. Planning your visit around these events can give you more time to enjoy the magic. Have I convinced you yet? Magic Kingdom is an amazing park, but it can feel overwhelming without a plan. Use these strategies to make your day smoother and more enjoyable. If you found these tips helpful, check out my other videos for more Disney insights and subscribe for more helpful hints. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.